made us work out this morning slightly uncomfortable too. Emmy coughs, a half laughing, half embarrassed noise. Remind me not to do that again. No problem. It wasn't exactly great for me either, to be honest. We'll just avoid that from now on. Are you, er, uh, still sore? Emmy stares at me in disbelief. What? It's a legitimate question. Of all the questions I never thought I'd be asked, that's one of them. Well, I didn't ever expect to have to ask it, so we're even. Emmy laughs at this. I guess so, huh? Well, since you asked, yes, I'm still a little sore. We're never doing that again. No arguments here. A yawn escapes her, and I raise an eyebrow. Tired? Emmy nods sleepily. Oh, she's so cute. Haven't slept well. Not sleeping well. I could tell that she didn't mean to tell me this either, because she gives a little start like she's been caught lying, and hastens to add, It's not a big deal, though. What's the trouble? Emmy shrugs and refuses to elaborate. Stressed over exams? Another shrug. But after a pause, Emmy nods hesitantly. Er, uh, yeah, I guess. Actually, that's why I stopped by. She begins to look more and more miserable. Not so you'd notice, of course. But her eyes are on her... Well, not so you'd notice, of course, but her eyes are on her lap. She's fidgeting around. Her voice is quiet. We, uh... We need to stop hanging out so much. What? Huh? Why? Emmy takes a deep breath like she's been practicing this. Because you're too much fun to be around. And I can't concentrate when you're near me. With exams coming up, I just can't have that distraction. Otherwise, my grades will be pretty lousy, I'm afraid. I could help you study. She smiles at me, clearly unhappy with the situation. I'd love it if you could, but we wouldn't actually study, would we? I mean, even now I'm trying to have a conversation with you, but I kind of just want to, uh, not converse. <laughs> She's a nympho, yes. Uh... Overwhelmed by my rugged manliness, I understand. That earns me a grin, at least. Emmy shakes her head. Idiot, you're full of yourself. Baka. Well, I am pretty irresistible. Er, more or less, I guess. So that's the situation, Asayo. I have too much fun around you, and if I'm going to go into exams prepared, I need to be alone. Hey, that's okay. It really seems to have been bothering her. Besides, it's only a couple of weeks, and we'll still see each other in the mornings and at lunch. We can just hang out at school, no problem. And after exams, we'll go on a date to celebrate their being over, okay? Emmy grins, pleased by this proposal. Yeah, sure. That sounds great. As if the single the end of the conversation, she leans in and kisses me. The rest of the night is not spent worrying about exams. End of the chapter. Okay. So should I keep reading or should I take a break? Um, I don't know. Ah. Uh, let's keep reading. Let's keep going for a little bit longer. I'm not that tired. Besides, you guys are cracking me up. So if you guys are in here having fun, I'll keep going for a little bit more. It's weird how easily Emmy and I can keep from seeing each other after class now. Actually, I'd venture to say it's vaguely disturbing. As easily as we come together, we seem to have split apart without much trouble. Uh-oh. Well, I guess that's not exactly true. We'd both been pretty bummed after last night together. And we get to see each other every morning for our runs. 
and just our runs, I might add. Lunch, too. I especially enjoy lunchtime with her. We have plenty of time to talk about everything outside of school, whereas the morning runs have become increasingly businesslike. I think it's because Emmy wants to make up for our foolery in the storage shed. But no matter how much we joke at lunch, I can't help feeling a little worried about her. She seems distracted more often, and I've caught her fidgeting nervously more than once. Never figured her to be someone who cared deeply about exams, but they certainly seem to be taking their toll, even though they haven't started. This is just the run-up, the deep breath before the plunge. Tomorrow, the real trials begin. Our real exams, anyway. As for me, I don't actually feel worried about exams at all. I'm not sure why. I mean, they're pretty important. My scores here will determine my odds of getting into a good university. Hell, if I'm too cavalier now, it could spell doom for my academic career. But going into them, I feel confident that I'll come out on the other side okay. Muto thinks I've gotten the science examination locked up at any rate. Or as he says, The last thing that should give you trouble is my exam, Basayo. It's way beneath your talents. Then again, this is Muto who's telling me this. His praise of me carries the veiled implication that anything less than perfect for me would be a disappointment, which has actually caused me to fret more than I should about the exam. It's for this reason I find myself in the library after class, poring over the textbook. Pretty simple things to look over. Some formulas for velocity, a few bits about friction. A walk in the park compared to my dreaded English exam. Never was good with languages. As I flip through my notes one more time, my mind begins to wander. After these exams are over, things should get easier. Soon we'll be graduated, then off to college, hopefully. I remember my abortive attempt to find out what Emmy plans to do after high school. Hmm. She avoided the subject pretty deftly, as I recall. Heck, it seems that just about every time I pushed you hard, she dances around the subject. Or distracts me through other means. Like a few days ago at lunch when Rin wasn't around. Heh. <laughs> I've done it! I'm startled from my reverie by Yuko's triumphant shout. Gah! Yuko seems mortified at my sudden starting. Oh my god! I'm sorry, I just got it, and I wasn't, and it's just that. As she stutters, I move quickly to calm her down before she gets too agitated. Whoa, hey! My words seem ineffective. Yuko continues to work herself into a complete frenzy. And it's a library, and I shouldn't be. Easy there, just calm down. And I'm really setting a bad example, and now I'll get fired because I can't do anything right. Yuko! Shouting seems to work, though I draw the ire of several other students studying in the library. Yuko snaps to attention like a soldier who just heard the captain bark an order. Sorry, sorry. Calm down, it's okay. You just startled me a little, and it's only because I was daydreaming instead of studying. So really, you got me back on task. This is a complete lie, but it seems to work. Yuko takes a deep breath and seems to calm down a little. Though she keeps shifting around with a nervous energy that seems awfully familiar. She does want the D, you're right. Definitely. <laughs> so what got you so excited anyway? Your penis. The Yamako Cat Burglar. To her credit, Yuko manages to convey her intense excitement in a whisper. I think I know who it is. I got an anonymous tip to their identity. So I did some spying, and I think the tipster was right. Oh, really? And who was this, er, uh, burglar? Yuko shuts her mouth, shaking her head decisively. No, I can't tell you that. Why not? It's between me and the burglar. I can't risk you warning him that I'm in the, onto his game. He could tip his hand early and blow town. Then I'm left with no perp. When did Yuko start talking like a hard-boiled detective? I wouldn't warn them. Why would I care? 
If you got to ask that question, then you don't need to know. That doesn't make any sense, but okay. Congratulations, I guess. Thanks. Uh, what for? The uh, cat burglary thing? Hugo nods and smiles appreciatively. So, studying for exams? Well, that was the plan. I'm not having much luck, though. Really? Is it because you can't find a book? I'm really sorry. I've been meaning to clean the shelves up for weeks now, but I keep getting distracted. I'm so sorry. Whoa, wait. It's not that. I've got my book right here. To illustrate the point and hopefully calm Yuko down, I show her the textbook in front of me. My mind just keeps wandering, that's all. Is it because of the noise in here? I'm trying to be more strict about the noise levels, but I can't bring myself to yell at people. I mean, aren't their lives hard enough without throwing my authority around? No, it's not the noise level either, I promise. I'm just... Hell, I don't know. Worried about Emmy? Worried about us? Worried about what happens after we graduate? Emmy's been kind of weird lately. What do you mean? Well, you know how we're dating now. I just don't know what we're actually, you know, a couple. Or at least I don't know what that we're become, that we're beyond friends. Though friends normally don't do the sorts of things that we do. Physically, we're a couple. A coupling, at least. It's like every time I try and find out more about her, or about what she wants to do with her life, she dodges the question. Like the other day, I was talking to her at lunch about some schools that I've been looking into. And I asked her, have you looked into any schools lately? She shrugs in response, says no, and when I ask why not, she says that she doesn't think that far ahead. I asked why she had that policy, and she... I suddenly realize I'm about to start describing, and I wisely decide to clam up. <laughs> she what? Uh, she changes the subject. Wouldn't talk about it. Maybe it's an uncomfortable subject for her. Or maybe she just doesn't like to think that it needs explaining. Yeah, but it's not just that. Every time I try and find out what's bothering her, she changes the subject too. It's like she's being with me, but not getting close to me. Uh, her name's Shizune, you guys. Now that I've said it aloud, I feel worse. You could digest a bit of information. You know, it seems to me that you're more serious about this than she is. I can almost feel my stomach twist into a knot. She's right. That's exactly what it seems like. But is that really what's going on? I mean... Sorry, I'm just talking nonsense. You shouldn't take my advice. You barely know me. I'm just a librarian, and I'm single, so you can imagine I can't know what I'm talking about. No, I think... I think you have a point. As much as it hurts to even consider it, Yuko seems to try desperately to find a way to soften the blow somewhat. Uh, look... I'm probably wrong, but if you want to be sure about how obviously wrong I am, maybe you should just talk to her? Get some time alone and just talk about it. And don't let her change the subject either. Yeah, maybe I should do that. Or maybe I should just enjoy what I have. We have fun hanging out, after all. And the runs are nice, and the other activities are nice, and talking to her is nice. Do I really need to get closer to her? What I've got right now is pretty good. But that's silly. I want to get closer to her. I want to be able to help her out whenever she, with whatever's bothering her. But maybe I should wait until after exams are over. Maybe she'll brighten up once the stress has passed. If she does, then I don't need to worry about it anymore. But if she doesn't, well...